Hey guys, Bjergsen here from TSM, and this is my basic champion's guide to AP Ezreal. I think Ezreal is a really good champion in solo queue as long as you know your limits and you're not trying to play aggressive early. Um, the reason Ezreal is so good in solo queue is because people don't really abuse his early mid game and his very weak laning phase. Generally, you can just farm freely with Q, get your rune glaive, even get second, third item, just be ridiculously strong. And people in solo queue have a very hard time ending games unless you surrender, so you can get to this like level 16 point with three items very consistently almost every single game. And it just reaches the point where Ezreal can pretty much 1v5. That's why I think Ezreal is such a good champion. Very similar to Kog'Maw. Ezreal's laning phase is generally pretty weak, and laning for Ezreal is all about farming up and getting as much CS as possible. For the early game though, you can push up and use your smite on the creeps to get level 2 first. And at level 2, when you have Q and W, you can generally win some trades. After that point, until you get room late, you're just going to be farming as much as you can and reducing the loss in the lane. Before team fights, you want to identify whether you want to be using your ult for poke or whether you want your ult up for the team fight. Uh, if they have champions that are, have no way of sustaining and are very easy to land very mobile champions, it's good to use your ult before the fight and constantly look for chunks. But if you have a lot of hard CC in your comp and their team has a lot of life still, you want to be saving it for the team fight. For playing Ezreal in team fights, you want to just be using your spells on the nearest target and usually do it off CC. Ezreal has full skill shots, so you want to be constantly doing it off your teammate's CC. If they don't have CC, Generally, they will have a tank or a melee champion really close to you, and you can just constantly shoot everything at them. The way you win teamfights with Ezreal is just play a lot like an AD. You do damage to whoever you can. Don't get greedy and try to do damage to the back line, other than maybe your ult, and slowly you'll burn through their front line and win the teamfight. Ezreal's laning phase is very weak, so some things you can do to make it easier is kill the front three minions in lane. You can use smite or you can just push them up, and just before you back, you ult the back three. And this allows you to just push the lane fast enough, get some harass on your enemy, or just push out the backline minions if you're low, and it lets you recall without losing anything. Also, another thing you can do is if he's freezing on you, pressuring, if he's ahead, and you have the purple jungle item, you can easily jump over and do the raptor camp. It's going to give you health because it heals you when you smite, and it gives you that CS that you're missing in mid if he's bullying you. There's a lot of ways you can avoid getting bullied with Ezreal, and it's important that you just try to farm up and get root blue. A good tip for Ezreal that usually works when clearing jungle camps is that you can actually proc your W on yourself. If you throw out your W and then arcane shift into it, it grants yourself the attack speed and it really helps with clearing uh, jungle camps really throughout the game. Soloing blue buff or taking raptor camp when you're getting pressured in lane, it just gives you that extra attack speed and uh, it makes W not a completely useless spell for farming jungle. For reasons I use magic pen reds, HP scaling yellows, uh, half CDR, half AP scaling blues and AP quints. The reason I only go half CDR for level blues is because if you reach too much cooldown reduction by going full CDR, you're going to be over proccing, you're going to be shooting your Qs faster than your rune glaive is coming up, and that's going to reduce your damage by a lot. So either just go AP runes, uh, MR runes, or a mix of both. Just make sure you don't get too much cooldown reduction. For masteries, I like to go 2109. Uh, one thing I like to pick up is spell weaving because I'm pretty sure Ezreal's Q counts as a basic attack, which increases spell damage, so it's just very nice for later in the game. and you often combine your auto attacks with Qs throughout the game. For skill order, I always go Q level 1, W at level 2, and E at level 3. Q is just for pushing the lane early, uh, W at level 2 for harass, and E to escape the gank. For maxing, I like also Q, W, E. Q for the early game, you're not going to be harassing a lot, you're just mainly going to be farming and reducing the CD on this. Helps you farm as well as when you get Rune this is your major damage spell. I go W second because it gives a ton of follow-up damage with QW in team fights, especially if you get a CC on someone. And Arcane Shift is mostly used as an escape, not as damage, because you are very squishy, so that's why I like to go W second. For summoners, the only thing you can really go is Flash Smite. Uh, you need Smite to be able to build the Rune Glaive item, and it's just necessary to, that's really what made AP Azrael work, work versus in the past. And uh, you also need Flash. Sure, if you land against an Assassin, it's tempting to take something like Exhaust, but again, you are a squishy mage and you need Flash to be able to escape, and sometimes even to jump in and get kills. Flash Smite every single game. There's no scenario where you should not be doing it. For the item build, you should start Doran Swing or Flash, depending on how hard your matchup is. After that, you want to go into the Purple Smite Rune Glaive. I like to go for the Sheen first if I can, but if you're in a lane where you're just going to be farming and you can potentially take jungle camps, you should go for Machete into the Purple Smite. The reason I go for the Purple Smite is that your ult one-shots the backline, and with the Purple Smite you can clear the frontline minions. Also, it allows you to farm the jungle as you're farming up for Rune Glaive, and it just speeds up your overall um, just gameplay. It makes you farm a lot faster, it makes you sustain in the jungle and get mana. Um, Skirmishers uh, has too low range for you to really make use of it, and it's only really useful if you're against uh, super assassin champions like Zed. Um, for Stalker Smite, it's something some people like, but 
you can really just go off what you like yourself. The movement speed is decent, the true damage is pretty low, uh, but overall I prefer the purple smite. Um, after the rune glaive, I like to go for just deathcap void staff. Since they change, so Ludens is not going to proc on your Q anymore, you just want to be going straight for the major damage items, which will be deathcap and void staff. After those, you can choose between Gunblade and Zhonya's as your next two items. Zhonya's is a good defensive item, they have a lot of dive on you, and Gunblade is a good item that's sustained against poke, it gives you a lot of damage in teamfights, and uh, the spell ban from Gunblade will still apply on this patch. And um, for boots, I still like to go Sorcerer's Shoes, because like I said, if you have too much cooldown reduction, you're going to be throwing Qs out faster than your Rune Glaive is coming up, so that's very important. Thanks for watching my guide to AP Ezreal. If you want to check out more, go to lawclass.com.